Hey everybody, this is Tom from Small Scale Life. Hey, welcome to the landing. This is our home here in Western Wisconsin. You can hear the Orioles calling if you listen close. Of course, we're not gonna do it right now. But anyway, glad you're here today. We're here to talk about the whole 30. We are at day 30, so congratulations. You did some really hard work. You made it, you stayed with it. You did all the good things, right? Not weighing yourself, hopefully you didn't. Didn't do alcohol, didn't drink alcohol, processed sugar, legumes, dairy, bread, all those things. And here you are at day 30. That's quite an accomplishment. A lot of people couldn't make it that long, seriously. Um, you know, things happen, they get off plan and then it's all over. And they say, forget it, we're not doing this anymore. And it's hard, it's hard because there's sugar in everything. And sometimes it's hard to come up with something for dinner, something unique and delicious and tasty and all those good things. And uh, it can be really hard to come up with meal ideas. I know, I've been there, done that. And unfortunately, I, I didn't do what I thought I was gonna do this time for the whole 30. Some other things came up and I just didn't have the uh, whisper. <laughs> the yoga kitty is moving my tripod. Anyway, um, didn't do everything that I thought I was gonna do this whole 30 and uh, you kind of were on your own. So. You did do well, congratulations, you made it to this point. So, what comes next? So the whole 30 was always about detoxing. It was a big 30 day detox plan. And now that you've been in this state, in this detox state, you're probably feeling pretty good, right? You don't have the brain fog. You don't have uh, as many, hopefully, digestive issues. You don't... Um, <laughs> You don't have the cravings and crashes and all the things that you have when you're eating the high processed and uh, processed foods and all the sugars and everything or tons of creamer in your coffee and all that stuff. So you're probably feeling pretty good. And I know what you're, I know what you're feeling because I was just there 30 days ago, still there right now. I feel really good. I don't want to go through the reintroduction. I get it. I totally get it. The magic, however, does happen in this next period, this, this reintroduction period. And this is where you're actually going to be testing different foods and see how you react. And what do you mean? What do I mean by that? Well, it's chapter eight in the whole 30 book. I've got the book downstairs. I was going to bring it up and read it, but I'm like, boy, that's boring. Who wants to do that? Who wants to watch me read, right? So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be taking those certain foods and you're going to introduce them over time. So maybe the first thing you want to introduce is bread. That's where we started back in March as we started with bread and uh, we tried sourdough right off the bat. And um, it was interesting because my stomach got a little upset and sourdough, homemade sourdough, really simple ingredients, right? You have uh, the starter and, and flour and water and, and I don't know, maybe a little sugar, who knows, but very simple products, simple ingredients, maybe like four or five make this great tasting bread and it's delicious but for me it kind of upset my stomach a little bit for Jules, she actually got an allergic reaction her eyes all got uh like she had just walked through a big pollen field you know her eyes swelled up and and uh got all runny and she was just her sinuses started going so <coughs> excuse me so those that kind of that's the kind of thing you're watching out for. How does your body react? You've been away from these foods for 30 days or maybe even 10 days or 15 days or 20 days. You know, maybe you had a cheat day in there, whatever. But you've been away from these foods for this long. So how does your body react, right? You have that that um, that dairy, you have that gluten. And then are you feeling bloated? Maybe you're gassy, maybe you just have a headache, maybe your stomach gets all messed up, uh, maybe you're going to the bathroom more. You really need to watch how this goes. And the other thing of it is you don't want to do, introduce something all at once. So that means having pizza because then you have gluten with the crust, dairy with the cheese, pepperoni, highly processed meat product. Um, whatever other toppings you have on there, sugars, uh, the sauce has sugars, and it's gonna really mess you up. So don't do that. Don't have pizza and beer to celebrate. Uh, don't do that. How do I know? Because Jules and I did that after our first Whole30. We had pizza and beer like on day 31, and it was pretty bad. And then you can't gauge what's, what's triggering you, right? It could have been the gluten. It could have been the cheese. It could have been the tomato sauce. Who knows? 
you want to take it step by step. And that's what reintroduction is all about is step by step. So come up with a plan. So this is day 30 or tomorrow, right? Or today, when this comes out, it'll be today. It's actually tomorrow for me right now, but come up with a plan, right? Take a look at the next 10 days, next 15 days. And you're still gonna have your Whole30 baseline. You're still gonna eat clean. And then you're just gonna introduce one thing on one day, right? Maybe it's rice, or maybe it's uh, sourdough, or maybe the next, next day it's whole wheat bread, or maybe the next day it's cheese. So you come up with a plan. You don't introduce everything at once. It's one day it's one thing, see how you do. Next day is another thing, see how you do. Um, and the reason is, and I found this out during the last Whole30, is it takes time for everything to digest and work its way through your system. So eight hours later, you might be starting to really digest that gluten and then your body's starting to go, holy smokes, what do I do this, with this stuff? So it takes time. Give yourself the time. You don't need to rush this period. In fact, I would say don't rush it because if you rush it, you're gonna miss it right? It's the details. Pay attention to the details. Pay attention to what your body does. Maybe you won't like something. Maybe maybe you'll discover, like I did, that dairy is not going to work for me. Big doses of dairy. So like pizza, it's not going to work for me. All that cheese, right? Something's not, or a blizzard or so, from Dairy Queen or, or, you know, something of that, a big ice cream cone or something. It's not a shake from McDonald's. It's not going to work for me. A Frosty from Wendy's, not going to work for me. It doesn't do well in my system these days. So got to watch that. You got to prepare for that, you know, and, and, and test. This is an experiment. This is the experiment and it's project you. You're discovering those things that are going to be like, okay, I can eat that. No problem. Do I want to eat that is your next question, right? <laughs> Probably the next video. I can eat that. That's a, that's an okay. Yeah, I can do that. Then there's the, uh, you know, my body didn't feel right. Something was off with, with sourdough and bread. Maybe not. And then there's the third hell no, right? Like the dairy for me is kind of a heck no, because <coughs> I'm going to go to the bathroom just a few hours later. I'm, a, I'm in Wisconsin the land of the Packers, beer, cheese, and brats. And, and suddenly dairy's like a, oh, I don't know, right? Maybe a no. And then you know, you kind of rank those things. What's inflaming you? What's making you react? And then you, the power is in your hands. You make that decision. Am I just gonna skip the cheeseburger and just do an open face burger? Right? Or am I going to put cheese on it and suffer the consequences? Is, am I going to eat that big bunch of bread at, um, and, and pasta at the Italian restaurant? Right, It's delicious, yummy. But maybe that does something to your body later on that you'll be paying for. Right, So you can start to weigh these things. And, uh, and some of you have lost some weight. Some of you know you've lost some weight. Those pants are feeling good. It's a non-scale victory, right? The pants are feeling good. The clothes are looking good. You've gotten a couple of compliments. Hey, what, what's going on? You, you look like you're losing weight. You're looking good. Uh, maybe your spouse is saying, ooh, yeah, you're looking good. You know, that kind of thing. So, you know, this will give you a framework to work, with, work in. You know the foods that trigger you. You know the foods that are probably you can do, but like, eh then you know there's foods you can do. So you can start to build your whole lifestyle. I'd say your diet, but your whole life, how are you gonna run your life? This is putting power in your hands. Experiment you puts the power in your hands. You get to call the shots. You get to decide what you're gonna put in your body and what you're not, right? So I would come up with a plan over the next 15 days, 30 days if you want, depends how fast you want to reduce things. Try things, you know, if something's not doing too well and you're not feeling great to back off, you know, that's a, a food that triggers you. And just keep doing the whole 30 baseline for the next 30 days, right? And and then try adding, a, adding some sourdough in or add some bread in or add 
some milk in or add some cheese in, right? And what kind of cheese, you know, figure out what you want to do and uh, really experiment. This is all about you. This is you time. So figure it out. You know, I know it's more eggs, more meat, more potatoes, <laughs> but now you get to introduce different things. So give that a try. Uh, again, wellness club, um, you know, feel free to help us or uh, share with us how things are working. And, uh, you know, I, I really am proud of you for getting to this point. You've done a really good job and now it's, to, it's time to take it to the next level. It's time to take it to the next step and then start to develop a plan for how you want your, your life to work. So Ryan, has the whole 30 been good for you? Meh. Yeah. <laughs> he has done well so i'm glad he's done it with us too so you're on video ryan actually they can't see you so <laughs> he'll be on the podcast soon enough right yep so anyway if you have questions go to facebook.com slash small scale life wellness club and talk there uh thank you for everyone who's participated i'm very proud of you thank you thank you thank you for interacting and preventing providing your put on the small scale life wellness club thanks for watching my videos and uh let's do this next part together um i'll be more active i've got to get a newsletter out to you all and uh in this video and uh thank you all for participating so this is Tom from Small Scale Life. Remember to learn, do, grow, be a little better every day. And that, my friends, is a really good thing. Next coming up, coming up next, coming up next, we've got to work on the garden. So that's going to be our spring and summer project is getting plants to grow in my super cool garden. If you don't know, that's the garden there. And I haven't had a garden since 2020, so I'm really excited to get in there and get stuff growing. So, yeah, that's going to be the next step. So, we'll talk to you real soon. Like, hit, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care, everybody.